Lecture 4. Picture, if you will, the creation of the world. Under the law of equilibrium, matter and space cannot simply appear and disappear. There is always space, always matter. Even what we perceive as emptiness is part of the vast cosmos. Our part of the universe is just a grain of an endless beach of space. This cosmos, this infinity, was not created, it simply is. And it needs no deity to exist. Only infinite space can hold unlimited potential. The laws of the universe and the interactions between objects limit their capabilities. Every object is a collection of particles, bound by shape and form. God as a being would have outlines. Compared to infinity, these boundaries are practically zero, making omnipotence impossible. A being cannot create infinity, and so there is no creator. Let's think about eternal and ideal forms. The cosmos is in a constant state of change, and in a changing world there are no ideal objects, no perfect forms. Infinity is an aspiration, not an achievable goal. The concept of an ideal god does not fit within our ever-evolving universe. The laws of the universe bind and subordinate objects. Form is a boundary, created by external and internal connections. It's a demonstration of the mutual influence of objects. Every action happens by inertia, and requires the presence of other objects. Changes in infinity require an infinity of objects, God would have no one to interact with. Desires appear only in forms, only when they change and for their preservation. Our desires indicate the path of development. The concept of an ideal God and desires are fundamentally incompatible. Let's consider the incompatibility of the universe and God. Our minds are indicators of the problems we've solved. The cosmos, with no contours and no interaction with external objects, has no problems. It cannot think, it is not an object and therefore it cannot be a god. So, the cosmos was not created and needs no deity to exist. The concept of god as a being with boundaries and contours, is incompatible with the idea of infinity. The universe's constant state of change negates the idea of an ideal god. Independence, feelings and desires are part of our existence but cannot be ascribed to a deity. And finally, the cosmos itself, with no problems to solve and no ability to think, cannot be a god.